Coach, uh, tough game today. Very much of a slugfest. 12-10 loss to Minnesota. Um, what are some thoughts after today? Well, I liked our guys' effort today. We know we're playing a really tough opponent, as we've been talking about, a really good lineup. Um, every time they scored, we seemed to answer back, except the last time. So, um, yeah, just a back-and-forth game. We're, we're down, then we're up 5-3. Uh, eventually had it to a 9-6 lead in the eighth and uh, couldn't hang on. But um, I'm really proud of their effort. They were fighting hard. Um, we're figuring out what we got to do. But, uh, I mean, even in the last inning, we get the tie and run to the plate um, a couple times. So um, we're doing everything we can out there. But, yeah, tough loss, but we'll bounce back, have another game tomorrow. I uh, played a little bit of a like, small ball kind of game today, some bunts, um, some sack flies, stuff like that. Um, how important is it for those you know, to be a little more uh, different than just the traditional get some hits, get some runs? Yeah, we need to f win all different types of games, and they have some good pitching. Uh, we talked about it a little yesterday in the post game. Like we, we executed some offense. We only had five hits yesterday and scored enough runs to win. Um, today, you know, more hits but more runs, and we had slashes and bunts and safety squeezes and stole some bases. So I mean, that's a big part of what we want to be as an offense. It hasn't shown all year, but we're getting a lot of our pieces back together and um, able to use a deep bench. We used a lot of guys today again. So um, yeah, it's got to be a big part of what we're doing. It disrupts pitching, and you got to do something on the days you're not swinging the bat well just to score enough runs to win. TJ had a good game today, three for five to the plate with three RBIs. Um, you've been moving him around the lineup quite a bit in the last couple of games. Like, where does he fit well um, to be the most successful? I think he's had his most success. I, I'd have to look it up, but somewhere in that five, six, seven hole range. Uh, yesterday we had him in the two hole, didn't go so well. Uh, but it's just a you know, the lineup only really matters the first time through, and then you, if you could predict who who's going to come up with men on, I'd I'd hire you in a second as an assistant coach. So you just never know what spot's going to come up um, in quote unquote the big spots of the game. But that's why we treat every at bat like it's a big spot, and you just keep fighting. And TJ did a really good job today. Um, came up with a lot of guys on base, executed. So he's uh, you know, he went through a really hot stretch there, and I'm proud of bouncing back off of yesterday's performance with three more hits today. So um, he'll be in there. We, he'll be in one of those spots. Lance got the start today, pitched relatively well um, despite giving up three runs. Um, you pulled him after four and two-thirds. Uh, was there any kind of discussion of leaving him in? Uh, yeah, we went back and forth a little. Um, it was definitely going to be one more batter or not. Um, they had two guys on base. It was a – one or two run lead at the time, thinking back now, and uh, they had a switch hitter coming up, and he had hit him well the first time, and Lance had struck him out the second time. But I wanted the kid to flip and bat from the other side of the plate, so we brought in a righty, and uh, McConnell did his job there, you know. But yeah, it's a those decisions are tough, and he was at the you know right at the pitch count, end of his rope kind of deal, and he was really tough striking out the guy before. So um, it was one of those spots where whatever move you make, if the team gets the out, you're going to look good, and if you don't, you're not. Um, but Matt, Matty did a good job coming in, and Matty's someone we like bringing in with men on. He handles those situations well, so it worked out in that spot. But yeah, we uh, we didn't get all 27 of the outs we needed. You mentioned yesterday that you know Minnesota's a very good hitting team. Um, they had 18 hits today um, in that eighth inning where they scored six runs to take the lead for good. Um, what was going on in that inning, and and with Max on the mound, you know what disrupted him his rhythm. Yeah, it's hard to tell. We'd, we'd have to talk to him. I mean, they just came out swinging in the top of the eighth, and before you could blink, they had a line drive to left center, a line drive to right. And, you know, it's hard because, you know, the way he got us out of the seventh, I was pretty confident if, you know, he would be able to get us through the eighth or get a few outs, and it would take some time. But when those things happen quick, you got to scramble and see who you can get up. I mean, Kalia was the next guy coming in. We were hoping it would be in the top of the ninth with a lead still, but these, that's how baseball goes. And, uh, you know, I wasn't drawn up that we'd bring him in with second and third with the game already tied and the infield up and nobody out, but he did a really good job. He came within one out of getting us out of that inning. We uh, got the one out, walked a guy. Um, I mean, we, that inning really starts. Max, I mean, we should have minimized it. Shouldn't have been as many runs. We had a double play ball. We didn't quite turn, um, put a guy on, made an error, uh, just – all the things that happen in usually in big college innings, but to their credit, they started that inning with hit after hit after hit, so they earned the beginning of that rally for sure. Wrap up the series tomorrow, um, trying to get the win um, against Minnesota. What can we look forward to that in that game? Uh, you know, these, I wouldn't have expected a 12-10 game today. That's usually reserved for the end of series. Uh, but these are two, I think, tough-minded teams that are just going back and forth and not really giving in, and both teams are fighting. So. Uh, yeah, we got to hope to get a little better performance on the mound 
all the way through. And um, if we can get deeper into the game with our starters, that usually helps us on the back end. But I think both teams are have used a lot of pitchers. We still have guys we haven't used yet. I'm sure they have a couple. But I'm proud of the way we fought today. We got to use a lot of different – we got to see a lot of different guys out of their bullpen. So uh, I know that their high-inning statistic guys have all been used in this series, and we still have a few left. So hopefully we can do like we think we can do is outlast people and be there in the late innings of the third game.